Against all odds, Alone in the Dark 2008 shambles forth. Let's find out what happened last time. As if we don't know. Let's pretend we don't know what happened last time. Tell me. Previously on Alone in the Dark. Here's the stone you've carried for so long. When Lucifer was deposed from heaven and forced to live among men as a mortal, he designed an artifact that would carry his soul through time. Lucifer was trapped in his own creation, but I have released him. Right. I'm heading to the old castle. Build this lock and maybe we'll see the end of this soon. Crowley here. Addington was wrong to give you the stone. It was destined for me. Just speak one little phrase and I can pull you out of there. And we're skipping the forklift entirely, are we? Better than that ridiculous prophecy. If the stone is cursed, why do you want it? What about the path of light? Forklift doesn't even appear in the flashback. And I know it's the PS3 exclusive subway boss does not either. Oh, we're hanging on. We're hanging on. Let's climb up. We got to climb up. We're starting right in the thick of it. Look at this action. Push. No, I'm dead. I didn't do it right. All right, we got it. We're going to have to, you know, move around. We can jump like that. Try to get out of the way. Like Lone in the Dark, 2008. It keeps you, it keeps you on your toes. You can't rest for a second. I mean, in one sense, it is in keeping with the traditional alone-in-the-dark feeling of anything could kill you instantly. I mean, that is the case. Push. Those cracks, those cracks are on fire. Well, I guess the pilot didn't make it. All right, we're safe. Eden's Yummies, you're gonna like it. Man, Eden's Yummies spending a lot of money on subway advertising. They know this is where you get the customers. Ow. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's what? Oh. Hey, stop that. I fell out. I fell out. Okay, let's make sure. No, nope. yep. Get our gun. Right, let's I don't think I can climb and gun. No, I can't. 
But I, if I'm staying still, I can gun. I sort of internally groan every time in this game when it becomes apparent I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to shoot while I'm climbing. Like, it's not something I'm happy to see. I'm glad he can reload with one hand. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to do that. Oh. Okay, they well, I me. Mean, okay, that's good. Back into another car. Out we go. Hey, we made it. We're back in the subway. Hello? Why am I getting in there? I mean, I guess there are monsters around. I mean, I'd rather just, like, go upstairs. I cannot go upstairs. Oh, is that, like, flesh? Is this- is it stopped up with flesh? Oh. I think that's what was happening. Got a bottle of water. Ow. I'm dead. I'm looking- if you're wondering, I'm just looking around for items. There really aren't any. Like, I don't- I have explosive plastic bottle. Um, I guess I should... Combine with with gun. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Just get in here. Why am I gonna get in there, lady? Give me one good reason why I'm getting in there. Seem like it was letting me combine it with the gun. I don't know. Maybe it was just something about the controls that I'm. I don't know. I don't get a lot about this game. And that's letting me do it now. Maybe I just didn't have any left. All right. What if I just make a break for it? Like, I don't really have enough of anything to do the job on all these guys. I mean, I also will die if I get hit by him. Hey, where, the hell do you think where the hell do you think you're going? Get in here! What the hell was that? What, was th what the hell? What, what the hell was that? There's, like, melee weapons lying around. But, I mean, we don't want to... We don't want to... We don't want to do melee. We really don't want to do melee. Not against a bunch of dudes at once. And 
beat having enough having low enough health that we're gonna die in one hit. Melee is a losing a losing strategy. So I saw like some bandages and I think a water bottle. There's a water bottle over here. Anything? I don't see anything around here. <laughs> wow. Where the hell do you think you're going? Get in here. Get in here. I know. Well, I mean, it's there's a quite there's a difference between knowing that that's where I'm going and actually getting. No, nope, push, and actually getting in there. There's a there is a difference. I can hear them. They're still alive. Yep, they're they're coming. I mean, I have, I have one bomb, if I wanted to use it. No? I guess there wasn't enough to actually explode. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Get in there. How do you want me to get in there? None of the doors are open. If there's an open door, hey, I'd go in there. Uh, there is not. And maybe you're just maybe you're just supposed to kill all these dudes, and then something happens. I mean, that could be possible. It's a possibility. I could shoot him. The problem is, is that I can't actually kill him without burning him. And I can, you know, light these on f I have, like, enough for, like, one magazine of fire bullets. I mean, this place I'm in does seem to be pretty safe. Oh, no, he, he came in here. Alright, so... I'm out of bullets, which means I can't kill them. I can drag them. But that wouldn't mean anything unless... Oh, no, there is a fire over here. There is a fire. Alright. I mean, this, we're gonna have to light this bat on fire and go melee. I don't want to. That seems to be what we're getting at. Can the bat be lit on fire? Yeah, okay. The bat's on fire. <laughs> Sir, please. I need to light you on fire. Now, there was like one other person, right? Yeah, him. Oh no, I ran out. Wait, can I still pick that up? No, I cannot. Oh no, but that guy's on fire. I can drag him onto the fire. There we go. Now we're doing it. Now we're making it happen. We're, we're, oh. I was about to say we're immersive simming all up in this, but uh, I got, I got stopped right at the end. But we were doing it. Where the hell do I think I'm going? Where the hell do I think I'm going? What the hell? Of course, I mean, as you've seen, the big problem is that I will die very quickly upon taking any damage. He, like, where did my flaming bat go? Well, that's metal. I mean, I can't let that on. The problem is, is the bat the only... 
Where my bat vanished. Is the bat the only wooden weapon here? Because, like, I'm seeing, like, metal weapons, like a pipe. I'm seeing those. I don't suppose there's, like, other wooden weapons around. Too light on fire. Well, not in here anyway. We did almost kill all of them that one time. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Where the hell do I think I'm going? What the hell was that? All right, how how slow does it is this? It's pretty slow. Oops. I would I need to be closer to the fire if I'm going to do that. I need, like, them to just, like, walk into the fire, if you don't mind. It's right there. That would be very considerate if you did. Well, okay, maybe let's just try to knock everyone out with bullets next to the fire. Where the hell? I do have a lot of bullets. Let's just see if we can if we can do that. And then and if I do, then everyone gets dragged into the fire. It would be cool if I could shoot bolts through the fire and if that resulted in you know, fire bullets. But I don't think it works that way. Okay, like two of the two tongues kill me. Hey, where the, where hell, the hell do I think I'm going? Get in there. The All right, so the best that I've done so far. Was by doing this. All right, maybe I should just use what the remaining fire bullets I have. Hopefully I find more pretty soon. Nope, not, not like that. Hopefully I find more pretty soon. All right, that's it for fire bullets. I mean, I don't think there's anything left in this. We could always try. No, there wasn't. That's fine. Ow. Like that guy got me, I guess. That guy that... Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a couple guys coming up from ba from behind there. someone else up back there. There's a lot. It seems like a surprisingly large number of enemies in a small place. I feel like I really need to find more more items. 
Is there anything? Uh, it's dark. I'm alone in the dark now. Hello. Sir, please. The bathroom is a safe space, and I, f I feel very unsafe with you in here. I mean, there might be an item in there. Where the hell do I think I'm going? There might be an item in there. I need something. Like anything at all. Can I close this? Probably. I mean, they can probably just come in. Just, you know, just need to do some exploration to find out if there are any items in here. Yes, I will die many times exploring the, the bathrooms. Where the hell do I think I'm going? I did not find any items in that bathroom. I didn't quite check all of it. Yeah, it doesn't- I don't see anything. Incredibly rude. Incredibly rude. Hey, where the hell do you think- Where the hell do I think I'm going? There's... is this a bathroom? This is a bathroom. It's lit up. Well, at least there's that. There's some flares in here? Oh, hey, health. I remember health. Actually, no, they're bandages. Cloth, no health. Well, there's ammo. Plenty of ammo in here. There's a chair, if I want to do that. Oh, right, I, I can't carry the chair through a door. How, how silly of me. Anything in the stalls? At least, well, this is a wooden melee weapon. They're not coming in yet, anyway. I know he's out there. So we have bull we have plenty of bullets out here. Oh, what's this? Did I just see a... Hold on, there was like an interact icon. What was that? Is it for this? What was that icon? Oh, it was for that. Okay, hey! There we go. And alcohol. Oh, two of these. Oh, there's a second one. There's like two of these cab... These two of these in here. Oh, there's a locker. Emergency flare. I need to see what that does. So much healing spray. Still using it. Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, there we go. We're all healed up. All right, flares. I equipped a flare. Oh, hey, hey, everyone's coming in. How's everyone doing? It feels so bad when I miss flaming bullets. It just feels really bad. Can I throw this? I can. It doesn't... I mean, I, I guess it's a light, a light source. Okay. 
How we doing? Oh, there's like a third one in here, I guess. Oh, I'm on fire. All right, well, at least we know where the supplies are. Hey. What the hell do I think I'm doing? Get in there. everyone's waiting for me to finish using the spray. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. Over there, over there, okay. You know, take it one at a time. Uh, there's more, there's more coming in. Are they just gonna keep coming in? That was something I was wondering. Do they stop? Or will they just keep coming? Okay, there we- yeah, we, I was supposed to kill all of them. That is indeed what we were supposed to do. Before we go in, maybe I should just... Go in here. What do we have? Okay. Maybe I should take a bandage. Take a single bandage. Oh yeah, the the lens takes a pocket. It's a it's a necessary item. Is it really going to take an inventory pocket? All right, I'll get rid of some ammo.
All right, where did that door open? Just come on in. Where? where? Hey, Where's... where the hell do you think you're going? I don't know. Get in here. Oh, there it is. Why did I see that is not open? Follow me. Let's try to climb up to the roof. Who are you? Oh my god. I guess it doesn't matter. Bye. Right. There. Mm -hmm. okay, I can't keep walking that direction. Tore this off. Okay, there we, there we go. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. What am I holding on to? Is this like a tentacle coming out of an orifice? It seems like that's what this is. Do I jump? Do I do a side jump? Over to that? Like that, okay. Are we climbing up into the orifice? Apparently. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's get up in them in that meat. Wanna get up in your meat, girl. Mm, yes, yes. It's, it's my expert opinion that this is where we're going. Oh, we got a we got a map. Are we in the open world? We're back in the open world. Read. I got a text message. About Central Park. Apparently, okay, this is follow up on Central on the Central Dark video. Apparently, the alchemists were behind the creation of Central Park back in 1858. It seems that they've been there since the beginning of the 16th century. By creating the park, they protected the land from any other development. Theo didn't know exactly what they were what they were protecting, but I think you'll know it soon enough. I'm glad that we got follow up on that. Also, our objective is to go to the castle, and what castle? I don't. I don't know. I feel like I've been paying a fair amount of attention to the story. I don't remember what castle they're talking about. On the plus side, there are cars on the map, and I've said before the driving has been the best part of this game. Get some fresh air as we explore Central Park. Smell that, smell that sweet, sweet night air. Full of abandoned cars for us to take. Our keys are missing, but we can hotwire. But no, not not that. We can hotwire. We can also rob the glove box. can also honk the horn. Oh, there are the keys. I don't I don't need to hot wire it. Okay. Oh, I got a trophy for doing that. Hold on. 
No, not that. The Roots of Evil. Theo's notes say that Lucifer must be using the ground of Central Park to lock the access to the key. Right, because we need to find the key while Sarah makes the lock. Remember. You will find some strange twisted roots scattered around the park. They are sucking the ground's energy and channeling it to an evil tree somewhere. These roots can be useful because you're somehow connected to Lucifer. You can absorb their power by burning them. Each one will improve your sensitivity to Lucifer's presence. Find them and destroy as much as you can. This will give you enough power to weaken the tree's protective shield. Okay, so people did say that there is a part in this game where we drive around Central Park destroying trees. And, uh, we destroyed one back in, like, Chapter 4. There are... there are many others to go. <laughs> dive, stunt dive out. Of course, that is the best way to do that. Okay, and, uh, they're guarded by monsters. Because, of, I mean, we're not surprised at that. Hopefully I have enough alcohol for this. Oh, shot him out of the air. Harnby with the trick shot. Oh, that's empty. Yeah, those are empty bottles. All right, we got any uh, got any fire that we can use? Alcohol bottles. There's a pipe. The pipe doesn't help us, since the only thing that kills anything is fire. We need to get, we need to get fire. And if we don't have fire, it's a problem. It's vibrating with evil. And I don't see any items anywhere. This is really a combat zone and like there's nothing nothing around. Like, there's some weapons, but of course melee weapons don't mean anything if we don't have fire to finish them off. I guess I have to search the park for items. I mean, yeah, sledgehammer, but that's not going to help me. There's, oh, I see, like, a, some, what looks like fire over there. Yes. found a fragment of a poem concerning the prophecy. Men shall rest no more, for he's still there, amongst them the betrayer, waiting inside a lying gem. He built from anger and pieces, felt from his throne, one medallion to be carried by one alone. From several documents, it's clear that the stone is linked to Lucifer, the betrayer, and his fall from heaven. If that's the case, Edward is in danger. Are we finished? You know, I'm not really sure what... Oh, okay, here's some alcohol. You know, I'm still not entirely sure about the context of uh, of Sarah sending us these texts. Is she, is she f just, like, finding Theo's notes here and there? Oh, cutscene. Oh, the crack. I don't want to deal with the crack. Okay, the music stopped. It doesn't seem like I'm hurt. Yeah, there's the- I know. You're the crack. Believe me, I'm aware. Okay, it doesn't seem like it can follow me outside of that. So that's all- that's fine. I 
guess I probably can't go over that. No, I cannot. Got a, got a bunch, got some more alcohol here. Can't take it with me. I guess we're just running around this. Does not work on the tree. Well, I do know something that works on the tree because we used it once before. There's nothing in there. Okay. Oh, more dudes, huh? Well, I don't see any mosquito spray around. I guess this will probably do the job, though. There we go. Aren't be looking back at us for approval. We got spectral vision. What did? Uh, oh, objective: increase spectral vision to fifteen. Find the secret of the old castle. Okay, we got to get up to fifteen. Get back to the car. So, the bullets didn't seem to work on the tree, even though they were fire bullets. So I don't know if that's just how it is in general, but, uh, actually, do I have to kill the crack? Because that, that checkpoint, like, that objective point is pointing me right there. So maybe we just have to do it. And that's, that's not what I want. That does have stuff in it. It's not letting me combine it with the gun, though. Oh, did I need to reload the gun? Maybe that's what it was. There we go. All right. Oh, another alcohol bottle. That's good. All right, crack. Come on out. Let's do this thing.
crack is dead. I got a trophy for killing the crack. It's just really fast, is all. It's hard to get a, a bead on it. Yeah, that's locked, huh? Can I, I can I just like shoot it open? There we go. Check my, check my cell phone. Yeah, I, I already knew about the spectral. Okay, spectral vision. But we also we also got a text message. Theo wrote, "Behind his eyelids, the carrier will find no rest nor sleep because wherever he goes, Lucifer's scars will shine in the dark. The power of your spectral vision will be improved by destroying Lucifer's roots throughout the park." To accomplish the test of the old castle, the path of light will require you to evolve to a higher level of vision. It will also be necessary to clear the access to the key. Oh, we're increasing our eyesight by killing evil trees. Oh. Well, there is a glow stick here. I think we see why there is. Then again, the lighter worked really well. Is this lighter working? I don't, I don't even know if it's working. It doesn't seem like it is. I mean, it's equipped. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Don't have room for that anymore, I guess. Uh, oh, I do have this. I, I still do have the flare. Flare seems to be working pretty well. Where am I going in this room? Do I need to go out here? No, I can't jump on... No, I can jump on that. Whoops. Oh, okay, there we go. We're out. We did it. I guess. Do I... Or do I climb up? Okay, I probably climb up, right? Doesn't seem like there's anything down here. All right, let's, uh, you know? Good. Yep, okay. Hello. How are things going, Edward? Fine. It's a wonderful night for the end That of is a fucking lie, Edward. Will, sum will summoning Luf Lucifer save us or destroy us? It's hard to say. Who can even say? It's the great unknown. The whole bit about summoning Lucifer. I need to increase my spectral vision to 15 by destroying evil roots. Read this message. Yes, Sarah. 
The Philosopher's Stone was Lucifer's invention to seduce men. He nurtured the myth over centuries by influencing the most important alchemists, scientists, and artists. People needed to believe in it. The poor dreamt of fortune and the rich of eternal life. Many things were built and destroyed because of this myth. By giving the stone this magical aura, Lucifer was sure it would never be destroyed. It's one hell of an enemy we found here. The most ancient and the most furious of all. There's a war coming. Alright. What's this right here? Well, my, maybe my spectral vision is not high enough. To see whatever it is that's supposed to be here. That might be the case. Where am I going? Well, doesn't see. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything to do here. It did say spectral vision needs to be 15. Maybe that just needs means I need to be. I need to kill more trees. Maybe we just need to leave this place and go kill some trees. I just. I mean, that's probably what we're doing. Can I, like, get off this and not die? I hope so. There we go. Alright. So that just means... Let go of that, please. Okay. So that means we're gonna have to... Well, not that. Okay, don't jump in the lake, Cornby. Uh, we're going to have to go get get a car. And we're going to have to drive around and look for trees. Seems to be what we're saying here. we get some alcohol. It's necessary to kill Lucifer. Alright. So we know that trees on the map are represented with static. Driving around until we find some static. I got an achievement for driving. I've, I guess I've driven 10 miles in this game. good at jumping on the roof. Considering how many trees there's got to be out here, I'm surprised we're not seeing any. Oh, 
Oh, ramp time. I kind of thought there'd be just more trees around. I saw one on the map. Oh, no, here, here comes one. One's coming up. Two, two actually. Two next to each other. Three? Okay, we're getting to tree country now. Getting all wavy. That's right here next to us. One of those. Excuse me, please. I'm trying to prep myself to throw a bottle. Why am I not throwing the bottle? Okay, there it is. seven spectral visions now. Just looking around. for items. Oh, it's Gallery and Bookstore. The Central Park Gallery and Bookstore. It's very famous. We all know of it. We all heard of it. There's a generator up there. I don't see one. Oh, there's one right here. That's that's why.
see that tree in there. He sees it. I got nine out of 100 spectral visions. Course we're going to look around for some items as we do and as we don't find I mean I, I guess you wouldn't expect to find you know first aid sprays and, al and full alcohol bottles lying around in Central Park why would you expect this there's a cloth I mean you might expect that in the wastebasket There was a third one on the map. Don't see it right now. We got a little too far away. I should, uh, hold on. I should check. Not the radio. Let the glove box. Here's some tape. Not really what I'm looking for right now. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the static. drive over that or walk over it either. All right, got two more statics on the map if I can find a way. Here's a Here's a bridge. I get my car on this bridge. It's kind of... Yeah, we got... Okay, no, that's not connected. I can see the tree from here. Maybe I could possibly throw a bottle at it, but I do need to get across there anyway. Looks like we can get Looks like we can get through here. Are there items sitting around out here? I guess we got to check. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Over here. That's it. Got explosive bottles. And we do need to use them. up on the roof or something. Oh, 
All right, we got like a little scene here. Actually, did I hear uh, those dudes? They're dudes. I see them. Is there a generator? Yeah, I think I see a generator over there. Mosquito sprays. Vision went up. Is this the thing? Oh, it's one of these things, yeah. Also, I got a text message. No? I don't think I got a text message. I thought. Didn't say anything. Now we we saw this, no? I guess I missed what it said. So which way do we want to go? Alright, we're going up. Oh, it's cracks. The cracks come in here. Nice to use it on only one bullet. All right, crack has been cracked. Something's making a sound. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We finally, we finally found some health. Bandages.
so I can remember that these are here if I need them. Bandages, tape. It's just that one. want to do that? Does that mean I can use that to climb up here from the bottom? Like a business center. Oh, there it is. Just hanging out at the end of the hallway. Give me that sweet, sweet spectral vision. We have 13. Wants us to get it to 15. Alright. Is there anything else we should be looking at in here? Oh, there is, there is something else in here. There it is. Spectral vision is 15. I, I guess that's not a text message. There's another bottle in there. Yeah, read message, okay. Is there, do I'm actually getting messages? Okay, I do have a message this time. Yes, Sarah. Don't you feel your spectral vision has evolved enough? I have guess you spent enough time finding these roots. Now go to the old castle and test your new senses on the riddle. I mean, we could do that. We could. But you know... People have said... That you need more later. Oh, what? There's something I can grab that? People have said that. So even though they're saying it's enough for now... We will need more. And if we're already doing it... We probably should keep doing it. I could go for some delicious drink right now. Because it's Friday night. It's the weekend. And if you think I'm doing this on a weekday when I have to drive to the office tomorrow, you know, we're not doing that. There's another one over there. So, we're gonna explore Central Park, and we're gonna burn a bunch of trees. No, no one's having a good time, in case you were wondering. What am I even looking at? Okay, I'm just like walking up against the wall. To walk around this. Oh, 
Here's a fence. Can I, like, jump over? No, I cannot. I cannot. I can use a screwdriver or a knife on gas tanks. Thanks! To pierce gas tanks. Thank you for the advice. This gate is, this gate is locked. Can I shoot the gate? It's, it keeps letting me know... It keeps letting me know that I can use a screwdriver or a knife. I can do that. I cannot shoot this gate open. I'm enjoying that I cannot reach that tree. It's fun to me. Yeah, this is completely fenced off. Do I get the same message if I walk up to this fence? Yeah, okay. It seems to be advising me to drive a car up to the gate, use a screwdriver or a knife to pierce its tank, and then blow up the car. Do you really have to blow up an entire car? Like, if we can open the gate with an explosion... Can I not just use my normal bombs, or is the car really necessary? No, okay, we can just use the normal bombs. I can use a screwdriver or a knife to pierce gasoline tanks, though. Just in case if you were wondering, you can do that. I can do that, yes. There's a screwdriver right there on the floor. On the ground. But as we know, what we really want to do is get the booze. Let's hotwire a car. Switch wires. And contact wires. The lighting here is very good. There's so much visibility. I mean, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing either. But I'm trying to cycle through all the combinations. Uh, seeing how I cannot actually see what the wires look like. Oh, there. Wait. Oh, no, that was just lightning. I get. Oh, no, that, is that it? The light's on when I do that. I, can't, I guess that's not the solution, though. I mean, the lights went on when I held these together. The two reds are not it.
No, wait, hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I was doing it wrong. I was doing it like I was doing with the fuse box, where you don't, but you get them close, but you don't hold them all the way together. That's not what you do for that one. For that one, you do hold the wires all the way together. It's different from the fuse box. Was that? No, I don't want to blow up my car. I have booze. I don't need to blow up the car every time I come across a, something I need can blow up. It's not the most efficient way of, of doing it. Eighteen. Another one right here. I think I should be looking right at it, I guess. So oh, it's down here? It doesn't really look like I'm supposed to go down there. I'm hearing the sounds. I'm hearing the sounds it makes. Is it like underneath us? Like, that's just a spike coming out of the ground. That's not the tree. Can't like get a good view of of down there. I don't see anything. Huh. I mean like it looks like it's right here, but this isn't a tree. Just like a spike, and I'm not getting like the um, I'm not getting like the wavy effect, so I don't know what's happening here. Maybe let's just look for something else. It says there's one there, I don't know if there's one there like with this game. It might just possibly be it's wrong, I wouldn't be surprised. It might be, like, hidden. Who knows, maybe it's, like, a hundred feet in the sky because, like, a bug happened or something. Not be surprising in Alone in the Dark 2008. A lake. It's so, you know, this park, it's so big, but it's also so restrictive. Like, it's hard to go anywhere.
I do love the dramatic choir music playing as I'm slowly banging my... banging my car around. I don't think it has quite the effect that was intended. Now we're back looking for static on the map. Which, like I said, considering how many trees there should be, it's strange just how few we're actually coming across. I wonder if all the trees are available in this chapter, or if they're not yet. Like, will there be more? When you get to the point where you need more, maybe they're just not all available now. It could be possible. I mean, if that's the case, we could go to the checkpoint. If there are any other trees available, I would like to get them now. Well, I mean, it is nice to be driving around in the park again. It's better than being in the museum. Fighting that one boss. And then figuring out the forklift puzzle. Bridge. What is that? Well, I don't know if I can drive across that. Sort of. I mean, yeah, we we got we got across it. There, yeah, there we go. You know, I don't think there's enough car horror in games. You know, if the game was just mostly us driving around and horrible things are happening, and uh, you know, it'd probably be a better game. I mean, it wouldn't be much... It wouldn't be alone in the dark. Not like this game is alone in the dark, but... It would have less... It would resemble it less. But, I mean, probably be better. Uh-oh, car's on fire. Looks like it's time for us to take our leave. By the way, uh... GPS. Oh, that actually does show everything on here, doesn't it? So, like, did I just never actually got around to that part of the map? Like, we see the one that I left behind there, because it didn't seem like... We didn't see the tree, but... Over here... Over on the... Over on the east side of the map... That's where the action is. That's where the party's happening. The party is popping on the east side of Central Park. That's what's going on. And Carnby has to go to the party.
Was there something there? What was that? Okay, that's just like a melee item. Melee weapon. Always take a bottle of pla a labelless plastic bottle of booze. Always put that in your glove box before you go. All right, time for more hot hot wiring. I mean, at least we know how. At least we have some lights, and we know how it works this time. There we go. Man, this part of the park's a lot more open. Approaching. Just passing by. And we just went drove through that. I didn't see it. Oh, that's it up there. Huh. What do you think about that? There's a... I can't jump... I mean, that's like a power cable hanging there. I can't jump on that. It's too high. Some tape. See, how high is that? Maybe we could possibly use the car as a platform. See if that is a thing. I don't know if it's I don't know if that's high enough, but we we can try. Maybe. Seems like it's just about there. Maybe I have to get this a little closer. I don't know. I don't know if I can jump high enough for that. It's not not quite. I don't think this car is quite high enough. How is that connected? It's like connected. Well, there's monsters on there anyway. Obviously, we gotta shoot them off. You can 
generated by something, maybe. There's got to be a generator up there. Seem like I can shoot anything else. Hmm. Let's see. We have this car here. There's a police car over there. There was like a there was a time when there was like a pickup truck in part of the park, and I haven't seen one of those since that part. I haven't seen one of those. I don't think we can stack the cars on top of each other. Hmm. Huh. So, if we're th trying to think this through... It looks like it's saying that you need to... jump up onto that power cable... and use that to climb up there. But how do you get high enough to jump on it? They give you a- they do give you a car over there. You have tape, tape, alcohol. They do give you a couple rolls of tape. Which might imply you do something with that. Let's see. If I wanted to combine tape with what? I mean, the only, the only thing I have here are, are explosive bottles. No, not that. Uh, quick. Is it on? Is that on the bug? I, I can't, can't see. I cannot tell if it's on that bug. Is it on that one? Is the bot, is the bottle stuck to me? That was the one. Oh, that's it. Okay. That was it. We don't jump on the cable. That was it. All right, puzzle tree. The puzzle tree is solved. Can we get over there? There's like a... Oh, well, to the south, there's more. But to the east, can we even get to that part of the park? Looks like it's chasms. Well, they're like... Okay, there's a long bridge across the lake. Maybe that's what we would take. But we can go to the south. And, uh... It seems like that should be accessible. No, not that. Don't go into the back seat, Carnby. gonna border this lake and it looks like there's some trees down here you know as bad as this game is I would be really interested in just like some sort of account of the development of it Of just how and why 
all of this, how and why, every, like, just like, you know, start where you want. The whole thing needs an explanation. We can survive that. All right, this one, uh, oh, actually, it's over here. In here? Is there a door? It's a pretty big building. It's gotta be in it's gotta be inside. Don't block the entrance. This is an active driveway, 24 hours a day. Is this a building we can go in? It doesn't seem like it. Oh wait, maybe this. Is that a real door? I don't know if this is a real door. I don't see anything on the other side. And it could be possible it's a real door and maybe we could explode it open. I don't see anything in there. Now we're back out here. Yeah, I went all the way around it. And didn't see it. I don't see it on the roof. Or anything. Carnby, you can grab that. It's always fun when the question is, is this a real building I can go inside? Is that door real or is it just set dressing? So if I'm looking in this direction, the tree is right here. It started to get wavy. Like this does not look like a real door. That doesn't look like a thing you can interact with. I feel kind of bad about wasting a bottle on that if it doesn't work. I don't see it around. I guess we can try blowing it up. Well, it's not... Like, the target isn't sticking to- it's like, target's going through it? Does that mean it's not real? What about if I, like, went over here? See, the target is now hitting that. It's- well, does that mean- okay, so it's hitting the wall. So is that. Does that mean that is a wall? It goes through this door. Does that mean this is a real door? Maybe that means that's a real door. Okay, that opened. All right, we're getting a got a camera angle. Okay, there's there's actually an inside. I was I would have been sure this was a fake building and did not have a real inside. Oh, what? I'm actually surprised that there's something ow. I'm actually surprised that there is something in here.
Oh, wait, ah, what? I didn't realize I was doing that. I don't know what press- I don't know what button I did press to- oh. I don't know what button I pressed to do that. There it is. Right, anyone else around? Bottles, bottles, bottles. Doesn't seem like anyone else is around. Spectral vision is 23 out of 100. Oh. There's another one right here. Uh, let's see. I don't want to be too close when I throw it. That should be fine. It was not fine. There we go. Still another one? I'm hearing the sound. So, this building uh, is full of jail cells and a locker full of booze. What building is this? Here comes a here comes a friend. As far as I can tell, the mosquito spray, the only use we found for it is being fuel for the, um, the lighter. Well, would you want to, like, have an entire inventory slot dedicated to that? Here's this. Oh, there's some health right there. Oh, I mean, we... If there are no enemies around, hey, we, we might as well... We might as well actually use the mosquito spray. Okay, I don't have any room for it. By the way, is the lighter working? Okay, yeah, there's like a little bit there. It, se it seemed like before, it didn't seem like anything was happening there. When I pulled out the lighter. Um, all right, well, I don't want to be in there when I throw it. Let's just see if we can do this. Did I get it? Yep. 27. 
Okay. Oh, it feels so good on my ham slices that I have on the outside of my clothes for some reason. It's very stylish. Man, there's so few health sprays, but there are a lot, there are a bunch of bandages, but bleeding out has not happened much. Oddly. I mean, I hope it doesn't, but you think it would be happening more. All right. Well, we got I guess we got all the trees in here. Don't hear anything. Out we go. Ah, ah. Oh, there we go. He can grab that. Ah, ah. That's a biggin. No, I don't need that. Hold on. Can I just, can I just do this to it right away. I mean, it might be too high up. I'm not sure. Ow. Okay, no, it's that, that worked. That worked. No problems. Oh no, not that. Yeah, got spectral vision. bunch. Hmm. Maybe it would be more efficient to bomb. I guess it did not have enough. Why is that? Why are they attacking that bench? Alright, fine. Like, I mean, if they're not looking at me, if they're looking at a bench, I'm fine with that. That's... I'm okay. I'm okay with that. See you, fellas. three cars around this tree. I wonder if that's I wonder if that should be taken as ominous or maybe a clue as to what we need to do about the tree. Why so many cars? Okay, there's someone in there. Like, we definitely can see that that is an entrance. Um, I do not have any more liquor. Let's look around. Anyone leave any booze line around? Oh, this is, yeah, this is that long bridge. We don't want to do that until we get this. Will I actually find any booze lying around? Um, yeah, maybe that's not what we're getting. I might. Uh, there might be booze in the um, glove 
boxes of these cars. Well, bullets. I mean, of course, we could always stab the car with a knife or a screwdriver, as the game told us to previously. I don't have a knife or a screwdriver, though. Maybe the taxi cab has booze in it. No, but it has, it has health. I'm happy about that. I'll certainly take some health. Never tell what determines whether Carnby can grab the ledge or not. Here's some garbage. Okay. Booze in the garbage. There we go. Now I need to equip my gun. He's not dead. I need to in, in need to, I need to intoxicate my bullets. All right. What we got? Oh, we're going underground. Should probably pick up some more booze outside before I do that. Man, who needs to spend money on liquor? You go to Central Park, you'll find full bottles of alcohol just lying around on the ground. Look, if you're not picky, if you don't need a brand name, because you're not getting a brand name here, you're getting like a, 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 a plastic bottle with no label on it. So don't ask too many questions about what that is exactly. Oh. Hold on. There's, yeah, there's a glow stick. Um, do I need to heal myself? Okay. All right. Let's see. Now, what do we... Do I want to throw the glow stick down there? Are there any other glow sticks around? any up here. There was, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. I suppose if I'm going down there, um, I should do a manual save. No, not... Yeah, this. Don't turn off the system. Does that meter there, like, does that represent how far we are in the chapter? It seems to be saying we're almost at the end of the chapter. But we got to get them trees. All right. No, no, not that. What, uh, what I wanted to know was can I, like, drop one in there? I want to I want to throw it in there. There we go. Did that make them make it scatter at all? Yeah, okay, it did. Now 
how is the the lighter did really well that one time. It's just it's not doing it now. I don't understand it. Can I walk this way? Yeah, I died. All right, try that again. I'm going to assume I'm not supposed to walk that way. Just an assumption. Just a guess. That's a very brave rat. That rat is not faced at all by Carnby. Nope, no, uh, that is real close. They do give you plenty of glow sticks. All right, let's just go the, the direction the camera takes us. Yeah? Should, do I need just need throw this? Okay, there we go. I guess that's why they give you so many. There it is. I can't get it uh, from right here. But what can this machinery do for us? Are those explosive? No, it doesn't seem like anything happened. Maybe if you do it... I don't know, if, maybe if you do it more than once, maybe it'll blow up, but I don't know if that's the case. Maybe we need something more powerful. Let's see. We have more glow sticks. What is this? We have tape. Ah, I see. Giving us tape. We know what that means. Who's behind that? Can I shoot it when it's behind that? Or do I need to turn this into a Molotov? If I was going to turn it into a Molotov, I would need a cloth. Oops. Man, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't know if I saw one. No, there's one. Um, the cloth goes on the left side, I guess. Let's drop our tape, I guess. Tape one combined handkerchief. Put my lighter. No. There we go. I'm gonna have to light this. And then. then oh, this is kind of hard. Oh, uh, well, no. Well, no, it's not going to be close enough. Yeah, we. I guess we see what we're doing. 
Do I really need to throw one on the moving thing? I mean, I guess it could stop it first. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could just stop it first. That would, that would make sense. And then... When it's, like, near the thing, I could stop it again. But, do I have a... Okay, no, there is a second one. There is another one here. I wonder if that keeps spawning. Maybe that just keeps spawning in. Get my tape back. Okay, we got the Molotov. What? Oh, that was that was a glass bottle, wasn't it? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we need the plastic alcohol bottle. That's right, because that's right. There is a difference between. Okay, there's the plastic. Here's the plastic. There's like unlimited plastics here. That's correct, because the glass bottles. No, the glass bottles. Those are for when you want the Molotov to shatter on impact. The plastic bottle is if you want it to be an actual bomb that explodes. There's a cloth. I think I, think I need to drop something. Like the tape. No, not that. Plastic Molotov cocktail has tape in it. Gonna, gonna light it up. Nope. No, why did it? Double tap the button. All right, let's pick up our supplies again. Pick them up. Stay away from that. Okay, this is back. Yeah, it's respawning it. I mean, they keep giving us the supplies back. That's good. Uh, let's see. Where did we find the tape? Yeah. Okay. Taped Molotov cocktail. Equip. Now. it up. Throw. Stick. Turn on. Too early. It's too early. Now let me move this a little more. Didn't have enough time. All right, let's do it again. Double-sided tape, plastic bottle. Drop my tape. Go get cloth. Pick up cloth. Combine cloth with taped plastic bottle. Now a plastic Molotov cocktail. Uh, that one over there. I can throw on... I can throw it to there, can I? I think I can. Equip. Get it on there. Over to the button.
There it is. Got more spectral vision. Uh, that's probably all we have here. Uh, the camera angle keeps moving. I guess that's what we have here. Um, the black slime is back. Okay, well, they did give us... There are more glow sticks here. There are more. Might as well take some alcohol while we're here. Up we go. You'd be proud of me, rat. You'd be proud of me. I did it. I got the tree. Good work, Carnby! There's someone up here. I mean, it sounds like there's someone up here. Someone's in here. Okay, uh, let's see. No, not that. Now, what did I want to do? No, not text messages. Okay, there's like this really long bridge that goes to the other side. I don't even know if I can get the trees that are there. I mean, the one on the north looks like it is... It looks like it's on the wrong side of a chasm. I don't know what we'd find with that other one. But we have 33 out of 100. I mean, clearly not all the trees... If there's 100 points you can get, clearly not all the trees are available. There's that one there that we got, but then that it didn't vanish. So maybe there's a second tree there, but we did not see where it was. Like, maybe it was under the ground. I don't know. Uh, this is a really long bridge. I guess we should... I guess we should see... I guess. Don't you aren't you curious about what's on the other side of the really long bridge? We got to know. We got to know. What a beautiful night on the really long bridge. This is this is wide enough for a car. I mean, I get... Can I, like, get the car behind the building? Like, this, if we can get the car on here, we can definitely drive the car down the bridge. Uh, that doesn't... I don't think we can get the car around this corner. I mean, we can give it a try. I don't know if we're, I don't know if that's happening. There's a car down there, but I would rather have one that's up here. Can I get that around up here? If I took that car, is there a point where I could drive it back up around? It's hard to tell.
There's one over there. Can I... Can I get that car... Up on here. Like this gap seems too small. I could give it a try. like to do is get it through here. I don't think we can. We drove it around. Is there a point where I can, like, get it back up on that side? The only reason I'm saying so is because that bridge is absolutely wide enough for a car, and it's really long, and it looks like we should be able to drive a car on it. And I'll be disappointed if we cannot. Well, I'm not going to be able to get it over there like this. And I can't jump this gap. Like, if there was a ramp somewhere... If there was a ramp... ...that I could hit to go over that... ...but there's not. That's a dead end there. Possible way. Not, not on this side. If we drove the other way far enough, is there a point where we can, like, get it up on that ledge? So far, it's not looking like it. That's just a chasm. Yeah. Alright, I mean, it's not looking like we can actually... ...get a car over there. Which is disappointing. Yeah, I guess Carnby's not doing that. Looks like he should be able to grab that, but I mean, it's not the first time that it looks like he wants us. It looks like he should be able to grab a ledge, and then he just doesn't. We're pretty used to that by this time. He, he reaches up. His hands are going over that that edge. His hands are go his hands get higher than it. At least it's a beautiful night for a jog. You have the whole park to yourself. How often would that happen?
Abruptly, the sounds of the night just kind of stop. Never mind that. Never mind the sounds. Okay, now we can climb on that. Sounds are back. So, it's an odd. Co this is an odd combination of games. Do you think this would be better if it was all linear missions, or would it be better if the whole game was open world? I'm honestly not sure. It's an odd thing to combine them like this. I mean, they, it's an odd thing to combine most of the things they're combining in this game. There's some dudes. There's quite a few dudes. Quite a few friends coming our way. Maybe he's not, not as many, maybe he's not as many dudes as I thought. I also kind of wonder just what the inspirations were for a lot of the things they do in this game. Like, you think about Alone in the Dark. Very small. Like, the first game is, kind of, is pretty small and contained in a house. The second game play, seemed like it was playing much the same way. Haven't played it beyond the beginning yet, but it seems like it focuses around a house. Don't know about the third. Then we have New Nightmare, which is much more inspired by Resident Evil. And then you do this. And it just it like kind of feels like when they had the when they were first working on this, was the intention even to make an alone in the dark game? Or was that just an IP that was attached to it? Oh. Can I heal my do I have any injuries? Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. That has how much in it? 21. Well, I can drop it. Did I just pick up the same one? Sure did. Same one. This one. Fifty-seven. At least Carnby's getting some nice exercise.
and we made it to the other side. Now, what is on this other side? Well, no trees in here anyway. Yeah, that's a big old chasm. Let's hotwire a car. And we can see, we can see that static on the other side. This is a pretty open area. I see some dudes. That was one of the expect one of the larger dudes is here. This is the first time we've seen that guy since the museum. Oh man. The car stopped when it hit when it hit him. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Right, well, let's get some distance. Hold on, I think I have to reload that. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can do this. I didn't actually kill the big dudes when we were in the museum. to go start with little dudes before we go hunting for big dude. Let's see. All right, his crack is glowing from our fire bullets. There we go. Alright. As long as we have enough fire bullets, the big dudes are not that much of a problem. This is a big tree. Is uh, the normal bomb going to work? It doesn't, doesn't need something more than that.
right, well, let's try the try our bomb, as we usually have been doing. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. Booze never fails Edward Carnby. Forty-three out of one hundred. See, it was totally worth it to come this way. Why don't? Why do I? Why do I get those updates when it doesn't seem like anything's updating? All right. It does look like there is a path along the north that we can get to that last one, though. So obviously we should go there. Obviously. I mean, we're so close. like we had to go around this like go around it to the north and it looked like that there was a path up there I wonder if it'll be clear cut or if this will be a, a puzzle tree when we get there Someone up here? Yeah, I'm hearing some dudes. I saw a dude running that way. They, they sure can jump. I mean, only when you're in a car. They don't care about it if you're not in a car. They still coming? I don't see anyone coming. All right, there's the tree. Oh, we're getting a special camera angle for this tree. Showing us this burning pickup on this, like, re wrecked piece of bridge. <laughs> Making sure we see that. Can I get on this? Okay, I can get on this. Well, this is where that leads. pickup truck. Is that a ramp? Yeah, this is a ramp. Leading right to there. 
Okay. It honestly is the best thing that this game could ask us to do. I probably should save. Because I have no idea if I'm going to land this. If I do land this, then obviously this whole game has been worth it. Always tape. Oh no, this is okay, this is the one I was already in. Make sure we're in a straight line. Okay, let's start from here. All right, let's get this, let's do this. Well, that's not how I was thinking that was going to work. Let's try it again. Let's do this thing. What? Oh, no, okay. No, we're moving. We're moving. I don't know what that was. Let's try it a third time. And... Woo! Uh. Well. Wow. Well, I mean, it didn't destroy the car or anything. We get to try again. I thought when it cut to, like, the cutscene, I thought that, like, meant we were gonna do it. That is not what that meant. That is just like a different camera angle. It's not like an automatic, it's not like an automatic thing. It's not an automatic you win cutscene. That's not what that is. Woo, 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 no. Honk indeed. I do like the idea of Carnby saying, No, no, no. I can do it this time. I know it'll work. This is the path of light. It's my destiny. I can feel it. It's what I was born to do. Theophile, this is what you meant, isn't it? That's... I don't hit it just right, I lose so much speed. Like, okay, I hit it there. No, nope, no. Nope. It started it started to do the cutscene. It started to do it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's funny.
You just want to make sure that you want it enough. Do you really want it? Do you really want it? Let's find out. By the way, did, did it re did it record me getting that one? Just want to make sure. Okay, no, it recorded it. It recorded it. If I were to reload, would it start me there or where I saved? See, I don't actually know how that works. I don't actually know. Previously. Okay, yeah. See how... Th yeah, it just starts me right here. Alright, I mean, I get... You know? But... Look, we're, we're spent this much time. Why not spend a bit more time? You see, I was wondering... W would it just load you... Where you saved it? And I was thinking, that might be a bit too nice. For Alone in the Dark 2008. That might... I don't think that's what Alone in the T Dark 2008 deals with. That's not the product you have bought. That's not the experience... ...that you have purchased here. No, that's not what we're doing here. Oh, it, it'll save your progress, but... ...it will tell you... ...where you're loading. And in this case, it is, it's going to load you in the middle of this long bridge over the lake. For reasons. I don't know where you would have to be to want to respawn here, as opposed to anywhere else in the park. I mean, there must be there must be some reason. There must be some reason. But who am I to to question? Hold on. What's the name of the developer of this game? I was looking at the box here. Eden Games. That's on the box anyway. Eden Games, published by Atari. The the back of... As I'm running, I'm just glancing at the screen as I'm reading the back of the box. The end of the world starts at 59th and 5th. Alone in the Dark returns with a heart-stopping survival experience, says WorthPlaying.com. The screenshots say, Intense story unfolds in thrilling episodes with action, plot twists, and cliffhangers. Exhilarating gameplay. Blockbuster action... Tense exploration, dangerous driving, vicious fights. Improvise to survive. Use your imagination to create devastating new weapons. Never get stuck. DVD-style chapter lets everyone reaches the game's climax. They advertise that on the back. They're very proud of their DVD chapter idea. In one apocalyptic night, Edward Carnby must fight unimaginable forces to reveal the earth-shattering secret of Central Park. Let me get in here. New York will never be the same again. CentralDark.com It's true. Whoops. It's true. New York was never the same again. Right, I'm pressing the left stick. I want to press the right stick.
just check something. Okay, I can go further north. Now you might ask, is doing this for one tree worth it? And no, it's not. But is doing it for what they want? They clearly want you to catapult the flaming pickup truck into the tree. Is it worth it for that? And I will say yes. That is why we're doing this. It's not about the tree. It's not about the spectral meter. It's not about that. We have enough. We have enough percentage. It's that I want to see that flaming pickup truck get catapulted into that tree. That's why we're doing this. And don't, th don't they say that the harder the journey, the sweeter the reward? That is what they say. Guy tap dancing on my car. Here's, here we are. Yep, show me, show me it. Show me it again. There it is. And then pan down. There that is. And here we are. Okay. So I have to hit it at like a certain angle to not lose speed. So I have to get enough, enough distance, enough speed. Don't fall into the chasm. But also hit it from the right angle, which is like... There. Like, that's how I need to approach the ramp. There's a tree directly behind me, though. Like, right there. So, let's see. Maybe I can get a little bit left to the tree? Like, right that, like that. Pull back a bit. I'm on the road, which will give me more speed. Okay, let's... Let's try this. Woo! Not quite. Not quite. Seemed like it almost hit, but almost doesn't count. It's not a car? It looks like it's considered a car. Oh no, this is the car. No, not that. When we do this, it's gonna be so awesome. Can't even tell you how awesome it's going to be. All right, so I when I landed, I was a little bit too much to the right, wasn't I? It seemed like that. I need to be a little bit more to the left. I need to hit the ramp like on its right side, but like not. I have to be aiming more towards the left. I think that's ha what it looked like. So let's see. Let's use the tree here as a guidepost. I need to go to the left of that of that tree. And let's try this. Woo! Yeah, there we go. Th yeah. Was that worth it? I have 46 spectral vision. I mean, the, the cutscene of it happening was a little underwhelming, I'm gonna say. I'm glad the puzzle was there. I feel like that cutscene should have had a little bit more impact uh, than what we got. But I'm happy we did it. I'm happy we did it. Hold on. We now have 46 spectral vision out of 100. 
We got all of the things, all the trees, except that one that I don't know. I Again, we've been there on the map, and I don't know where it is. So, now we can advance the plot. Now we can. I like, like those little dainty little stomps, those flying stomps they give the car. And of course, if we're going back, you know what that means. It means we are running back across the bridge, across the lake. Of course, of course we are. Can we get this car to this side of the bridge? I mean, probably not. It's probably not going to happen. But we can try. Actually, let me see. Where, where is the entrance to the bridge? I mean, it is this way. Oh, actually, there's a road going to the south. We don't actually need to walk across the bridge. Never mind, then. So focused on that bridge. It's like there's just there's just a road going across the south part of the map. I mean, at least we saw the scenic route. We wanted to see everything that Load in the Dark 2008 has to offer. We've been seeing it. No one said it would be fun to see it, but we have been seeing it. Why is there a bridge going across the middle of the map? Woo indeed. <laughs> Take more than that. We'll put an end to Edward Carnby. Actually, do I have any... Yeah, I do. Excuse me, sir. Hey, sir. Ow. I was Grand Th I've been Grand Theft Autoed. We don't need that car anyway. How far is that the checkpoint? Yeah, it's not that far. I mean there is a car on the way. Man, that speed limit sign is enormous. Look how big that is. Look how big it is. Speed limit 50 on a road going through Central Park? Are you sure? Wrong button. Wrong button. Nope, not that one.
All right, so you remember what the plot's been, right? We were trying to get into a castle, and then we did, and there were, like, runes on the floor, and then Sarah texted us and said, Carnby, you need to increase your spectral vision to read those runes, and then, like, ever since then, we've been wandering around Central Park burning trees and just having good old time. But the fun is now ending. The fun time, the fun part of Alone in the Dark 2008 is coming to an end. It's time for business. Hello, Sarah. Feel the power. You should be able to feel the symbols now. Thanks. I've been feeling the power, Sarah. You have no idea. Wait until, you tell you, no, wait until I tell you what I did with a burning pickup truck. You won't believe it. All right, back into the castle. Wait, wasn't there, like, a shortcut? Maybe I can't reach the shortcut from here. But, like, I lowered a rope at some point. Can I get back up there? Oh, yeah, the black slime. Try closing my eyes. Mm-hmm. Well, I could take out my... My lens. I could take out my flashlight. Yeah? Is that just directions? Or... Or what? Should I shine my flashlight on that? Not sure. And look, cause the, there's black slime in here. I don't actually want to mess around with the black slime. Maybe this, maybe it's just telling me where to go. I don't know. direction, Carnby. Okay. What a jump this man makes. Right, we want to go up here. Then here, okay. What has this been all about? Okay. Oh, not that. Well, maybe, maybe my lens? Okay, I did something in there. Is there anything? I'm hearing sounds. Is that just like the, the runes in there? I guess nothing else happens if I'm if I'm blinking. All right. We did see a symbol earlier.
Um, yeah, you know, why don't we save? There's one here. Now, should I do the flashlight thing, or...? No, that's... No, that's... Why am I not why am I not combining them again? I always feel like I'm always missing something with this game. I was combining the flashlight and the lens before. Why that why am I not combining them now? Right? Lens. No, not not glow stick. Lens. No? Was I doing something different I've just forgotten? Okay, there it is. Alright, it's R2. Just R2 and nothing else. So am I doing this, or...? Okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Alright, just... Just needed to get some feedback. About what it is we're doing. Just a little bit of feedback. Behind that. Should I shoot the painting? Yes. I should indeed shoot the painting. standing right there it is why is it so finicky I hate this one I don't want to do this one I just I really got to stand up right next to that all right let's, we're just gonna throw we're just gonna throw a whole bunch of glow sticks in there enough. Now let's do another one. There. Is that enough? Okay. Nope. Okay, well, maybe. maybe. Nope. It was not enough. Yes. Feel the power.
Let's see. Gives me a bunch of glow sticks. It's, it didn't seem like... I mean, it, look, it seems like when I get in there... They're pretty happy to just kind of swarm me. Glow sticks or no. Let's, like, make it a shorter toss. No, it's like that. Okay, so if it's like... Nope, 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 nope. If it's like that... Let's see. This is too far away, isn't it? I need to get closer than that. Yeah. Throw it right there. Nope, throw it right there. Throw it right there. Nope. Okay, there. Nope, dead. Feel the power. need a bigger light source. Nope. Well, I don't actually know what hurt me. Still not that. Looks like I'm too close now. Feel the power. Let's just go straight there. We got just do this one before any of the others. There. So now the fire will hurt me if I spend too much time here. We need to just do it perfectly. It's a very finicky thing. Do it absolutely perfectly. And that, that's all you need to do. What's wrong with that? ones don't seem as finicky as this. For some reason, this is more so. It's also the most dangerous one. Uh, 
No, oh, I'm I'm bleeding. The fire does keep them away, but it kills me at the same time. Feel the power. We could get like multiple chairs in there. So like throw them around. Maybe having enough fire sources will will do the job better. They're far away enough from... No, there's... are they still going to get me? They look like they're on the verge of getting me. Yeah, I was gotten. That's me getting gotten first person. Feel the power. So glow sticks don't hurt me, but they're, like, not very effective at all like I would have to do it in sec in like a couple of seconds and as we've seen that's not really how this works well we don't know how it works really uh, it's a little unclear exactly where it wants me to stand because it's I think I'm standing like right exactly where I need to be and it's not working so where exactly does it need me to stand? Like, this looks like the right size right here. Okay. Was I just not blinking long enough? I think that must be what it was. I just didn't have my eyes closed long enough. Read message. Feel the power. And... Path of Light, there's a way to counter the beast, a mystic yet concrete way. The alchemist's manuscripts speak of a path of light. It is a symbolic test that will lead the carrier of the stone, the light carrier, to prove his value. This person alone can accomplish the prophecy and face the beast. He alone, one man for all men, stands in a burning light. I only know one man who has the strength to fulfill this task, and he's already carrying the stone, probably fighting it somewhere with all his soul. All right, so the path of light means to accomplish the prophecy and face the beast. We have to face... we have to face him. Uh, all right, so we found three. That was the one in that... in the... that's the one in there. That's that one. Sounds like I hear something when I look over here. I don't see anything. Oh, there. It's four. Two more to go.
I wonder if there would be any on the outside. Oh yeah, on the outside wall. dudes there. Hello. And they were guarding the thing. Our final, the final thing that we have to do for some reason. Why are we doing this? That's a good question. I'm sure it'll all make sense in the end. It'll all come together. That's six runes. <laughs> like how that was cut off. Can I, like, get to the rope on the outside without going through the slime room? I, I would prefer to do that. Let's see. The rope is... Yeah, rope's there. Let me jump over that. I can't run through that. Here, down here, and up here. Not first person. There we go. All right. Light your crack up. <laughs> Deaded. I did not I could not light up his third crack. I love it when I only have one bullet in there when I do that. Let me light up that crack, girl. It's hard to light up the crack. How well does it does just using this as a bomb work on him? Actually, fairly well. Oh, I see. So that's on fire to prevent me from actually getting through there, and I'm gonna have to kill him to have the time to use the fire extinguisher. Gotcha. Oh, 
I'm, I'm still alive. I really didn't think I was. Hard to get around him. Uh, he's down. Oh, there we go. Gotta gotta knock him down and then and then light up his crack. All right. Do I have a? Uh... No, I do not have any health. Right. So they prevented me from just going upstairs by using a by having a fire. Remember this mechanic, where there's a fire and then use the fire extinguisher to put it out, like back in the first level? I think this also showed up in the museum. It doesn't come up that much, but it's here. All right. <coughs> out of here. All right, read message. What are we doing here? Sarah. I'm scared and feeling down again. I'm still not making much progress. I can't find the connection between the path of life, light and the afterlife. The university cut my budget in half, and anyway, the stone is missing. Aw. Where the ha- I'm sorry, I should probably read this in the proper voice. I'm scared and feeling down again. I'm still not making much progress. I can't find the connection between the path of light and the afterlife. The university cut my budget in half. And anyway, the stone is missing. Where the hell can Edward be? Ever since that incident in Prague, I have a bad feeling tightening in my guts. Thanks for sending me all these text messages, Sarah. All right, elevator. That's okay. That was just a, unlocking an elevator. That's what that was. Here's a telescope. All right. Where do I need to line this up with? The moon? Yes, the moon. Ah. Uh, uh. Chapter 7 done. Now, granted, that took longer than it had to because I was going around doing the trees. But the reason I was doing that is because apparently in chapter 8, you do need more trees. So if you only get the minimal amount in chapter 7, you are going tree hunting again in chapter 8. But maybe we've now gotten enough trees for chapter 8. I don't actually know what the numbers are. I did all the trees I could, except for that one that I couldn't find. So hopefully that's enough. Hopefully. What a what a anticlimactic ending for the chapter. We didn't even see what it was pointing at. We pointed at the moon and the moon was shining down on something. And we didn't see what it was and the chapter ends. I guess we'll have to wait for chapter 8, the final chapter. Uh, to learn the thrilling conclusion of Alone in the Dark. Okay, what have we learned? Uh, hey, you, hey, you idiot. What are you doing over there? Come on in here. Remember that at the beginning of this chapter, three and a half hours ago? When we were in the subway and then that, there's that woman who kept telling us, hey, you idiot, come in here. And she was like standing in like a subway car that was almost falling over. And I kept dying. That was three and a half hours ago. That's when that was. 
And there was like no reason at all why we were trying to get in there other than that's she said to come in. And then when we got in there, she instantly died because a tentacle picked it up and she fell. And who was that? I don't know. Why we were in that subway car? I don't know. What was that tentacle? I don't know. But then we climbed up into like its anus or its nose, one of the two. And then when went out its toothy anus and then we were back in Central Park. And then we drove around, and then we got a text message from Sarah saying, burn the trees and get your spectral vision. Go to the, and you'll, no, first we went to the castle. We went to the castle, and then found the runes, and then Sarah said, you gotta burn trees and get your spectral vision, and then you'll, you look at this again. So then we went around, having a nice old time driving around Central Park, finding trees and burning them. Some of them, you know, were kind of clever, like that one in that one basement where it was protected by a fence and you had the machine that was rotating those cylinders. So the solution ended up being make a, a Molotov cocktail, make it with tape on it and then throw it on the thing on the cylinder and then use the machine to rotate it to the tree. That was kind of a neat puzzle. That was a nice little thing. We had the one where we were like, we had to drive the truck, the, the car on the ramp to catapult a flaming pickup truck at a tree, which sounds very cool. I feel like the animation we got when we finally did it was disappointing. But it sound, well, it's, it's a cool concept. Um, so yeah, we had a nice old time exploring Central Park and then burning trees. And then for some reason, there was like a really long bridge in the middle of the lake. I don't know why that was there. Why is that even there? I don't know. But it was there, and we ran across it multiple times. And then we burned all the trees, and our spectral vision increased. And what could we do with that spectral vision? It turns out that we were able to now see the runes in the castle. And we were able to shine our flashlight on the runes. Find six of them. But they weren't, that wasn't that hard except for that one in the slime room, which for some reason was also the most finicky one. Okay, no, I realized why it was the most finicky one. It was because when I was in that room, I wasn't blinking for long. I only blinked enough to make it appear because, you know, the slime. And it turns out that's not what you do. Rather, what you have to do is you have to hold, you have to blink for a lengthier time to make that thing appear as bright as it can. And then you shine the flashlight on it. That's what I was doing wrong. That's it was I'm that was my fault. I'm 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 the stupid one. That was my fault. Um. Then after we lit up all six runes, what happened? What incredible, magical thing happened? It turns out, it was an elevator. To like the next floor, there was a room on the next floor with a telescope, and that it was just a magic elevator. That's what all that was for. Roaming around Central Park, burning the trees, getting our spectral vision, activating the runes. It was because there was like a room at the top of the castle and we had to turn the elevator on. That's what that was for. That's what the purpose of this entire chapter was. And then we looked through the telescope and aimed it at the moon. And then it shined its powerful moonlight on something. What? I don't know. We didn't even find out in this chapter. But I'm, guess, I'm guessing we're going there in Chapter 8. The final chapter of Alone in the Dark 2008, we got text messages from Sarah. And one of them said that the Path of Light is going to involve Carnby uh, confronting the Beast. Maybe that's where we're going now. Maybe, maybe the Moonlight was shining the location of the Beast. Remember the CentralDark.com video... Central Park was built for a malevolent purpose, and that purpose was to contain Lucifer. Where is Lucifer? The moon is telling us where Lucifer is. And we're going there. With the stone. And then... Okay, so the thing was that the man had to make the key, and the woman had to bring the lock. Have we done either of those things? I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know if Carnby's made a key or if Sarah has made a lock. I don't know if those happened. But I'm guessing that we're going to meet up at the location of Lucifer. And we're going to walk the path of light. 
And something's gonna happen. Chapter 8. The final chapter of Alone in the Dark 2008. I hope you appreciate this extra long session tonight. Getting the real Alone in the Dark 2008 experience. This is the, the genuine... The genuine experience of playing Alone in the Dark 2008. No, we're you know no Russian. We're not Russian. We're dry. We're we're taking our time. We're burning trees. I mean, if I didn't, then we would never have seen the catapult, flaming pickup truck. We would never have seen that, and obviously, we have to have seen that. It's the final chapter. Next time. Is it going to be worth... Is it going to make this all worth it? Maybe this is where it all comes together. Maybe this is where we use all of the skills we've learned. And all the story beats. All of the emotional beats come together with these two characters that we have become so invested in of Edward and Sarah. This is where it all, it all comes together and everything will become worth it. I'm sure of it. I'm positive. As we fi fi as fi finalize, as we finish, as we end Alone in the Dark, 2008.